Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have created a look using the Morphe James Charles mini palette. If you want to see how you can win this palette and how I created this look, then stick around and let's do some makeup. Hey guys, just a quick note before we get started. I am just coming out of one makeup look uh, and I have face tapes on and I didn't want to completely ruin everything. So I actually was able to take off all of my makeup with a little bit of Pond's cold cream and then I removed it with a Pond's makeup remover wipe. And then I just took a, a washcloth, a dry washcloth, and wiped off all the excess and then a quick spritz of toner. So, I mean, there's a little bit of the white eyeliner left over from the last look, but everything just came off. So, um, we're good to go. I'm going to do my foundation and then I will be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. So I've done my foundation. I will put a link for my foundation process in the video. So if you want to see how I do that, you can check that out. We're going to go right into our James Charles mini palette with all of these gorgeous colors. And then they've given us some of like these basic colors, I'd say. Blending colors, neutrals, black, white, larger pots, and then the colorful ones get these uh, the little mini ones, which is totally fine for me because I don't go through that much um, eyeshadow, especially if I have this much to choose from. But a quick note, and I won't digress too much, is this little thing right here that comes on top. I've actually taped that to the top of the, uh, or the, over the mirror on the inside of the palette. So when I open it up, I always have the names of the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using because there have been a couple times where I'm doing a video and I'm like, and we're going to go into this color because I forget what I'm working with, but not anymore. The first thing I'm going to do is go into flashback, which is a white eyeshadow and use that as a wash over the whole lid. This is important when working with brighter colors like we're doing today, especially blue, because our foundation is yellow based. And if you put blue on top of yellow, you get green. So you want to neutralize or even out the canvas, as it were, so that when you lay down your blue, it's not competing with another undertone that's going to change the color. So next, we're going to go into Hello. Same brush, Real Techniques 200 eyeshadow brush from the Bold Metals collection. Then I'm going to um, go down to Cola, which is a deeper sort of indigo blue. And I'm gonna put that on the outside corner of my eye. Finer brush and artistry. Same to finer brush and then going into love that. And then uh, just another little light punch of blue. So let's go into Playground. And then let's uh, highlight the brow bone with a base shadow brush and ring light. Pinkity drinkity in the inside corner. Let's build up that crease just a little bit more. I'm going to go back into, uh, or no, this is a new color. I'm going to go into Escape, which is a really dark purple. And I'm using the Instapop crease brush. I'm going to blend that out with a definer brush. Same brush and then going into Spooky. And this is just going to go on the outside corner right here. 
I'm not going to take it up into the crease because I don't want to lose that uh, the purple tone of the eyeshadow. I don't want to run the risk of the black drabbing it down. 10% off and I'm going to use the Rebel Edge Fine Brush. Switching to a definer brush and moving over to, um, oh, I'm sorry, this color right here is not 10% off. It's code James. Now I'm going to go into 10% off with the definer brush. And then let's switch back to the Rebel Edge Fine Brush and just kind of soften that a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of Max uh, Eichel pencil in Smolder, and I'm going to do my uh, the tight line on my top lashes. And let's go back into the palette, definer brush, and uh, escape, and we're going to just, just lay that on top of the Smolder. Mac Eichel pencil in fascinating. Let's go ahead and dust off the uh, excess setting powder I have down here. And that's just to help protect my cheeks from any eyeshadow fallout. Artist powder brush and Mac bronzing powder in golden. For blush, I'm going to use a uh, Max Fleur Power and a blush brush, and this is just going to kind of go all over the cheekbone. Then I'm going to go into a little bit of my discontinued uh, mineralized blush in Gleeful, and that's just going to pop onto the cheekbone right here. This is MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam, and I'm applying that with a fan brush. Okay, now it's time for lashes. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy with them today because I don't want to cover up all the eyeshadow. So I've picked out some moderately sized eyelashes. I'm going to load those up with some Duo Eyelash Adhesive in dark. And then while that is setting and getting tacky, I'm going to prep my lashes with uh, the MAC Eyelash Curler and then a quick coat of MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I'm going to pop the lashes on and I'll be right back to finish the look. All right, I uh, just popped my lashes on. I did a quick coat on the false lashes of the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And now we're gonna move right on to brows with the Urban Decay Brow Blade in Neutral Nana. Silver Stars from MAC, and I'm going to adhere those by using the MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid, and this one is Not Afraid to Sparkle. And I'm just going to apply that where I want the stars to stick, and it's also nice because it has that little bit of reflection to it, so it helps to kind of 
it, it's a good backdrop for the Silver Stars. Let's keep the lips fairly soft and neutral. I am going to start with my Runway Rogue lip pencil in Cover Shoot. Lip smudge brush. Following the lip pencil up with a uh, Runway Rogue liquid lipstick in uh, Paparazzi. And then before that has a chance to dry, which it will in just a couple minutes since it's a long wear lipstick, I'm going to work that into the lip liner with my lip brush. Runway Rogue lip gloss in... Uh, Strike pose. Lip brush. All right, let's set it all with some Mac Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Powder brush. Just make sure that when you're doing this, avoid the stars. Avoid the stars. Hoya, oh yeah, the stars. Help yourself to some coffee and bars. All right, guys, this wraps up today's look using the Morphe James Charles mini palette. To win this palette, you have to subscribe to my channel. And then in the comment section downstairs, tell me what look you would create using this palette. Please like and subscribe to help me out. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.